My name is Vera. I'm from Ukraine. I'm Rima Kashev, and I come from Egypt. I'm Venus from Hong Kong. I'm Alex Nojo, and I'm from Barcelona. I'm Vasya Tomasova. I'm from Bulgarian Wikipedia. My name is Jamie Matthewson, and I live in San Francisco. I'm Filip Malkovic from Wikimedia Serbia. My name is Neta Hussein. I live in Kerala, India. My name is Leang. Uh, I come from Wikimedia Taiwan. My name is Paola Ricaurte and I'm from Ecuador, but I live in Mexico, so now I'm Mexican too. I always liked Wikipedia as a great example of collective intelligence. I do support open knowledge and free culture. And also I wanted my students to be not only information consumers but knowledge producers. You know, professors write articles and uh, that's a, a big part of being an academic. You write articles and uh, you want to publish them and on the good day you might, you might have uh, a few people actually read what you're writing, but when students write or people in general write in Wikipedia, um, this work gets read. A small um, school in Israel where they, they speak Chilkesi. Uh, they speak Adigi, uh, which is uh, the language of Cherkesi people, and um, this, these are eighth grade uh, students, and because of the work they did, we have a new language Wikipedia that just opened, the Wikipedia in Adigi, and we are very proud of it, so it goes to show what eighth grade uh, students can, can actually achieve. If you think about the student perspective, the students learn 21st century skills of engaging with a global community and writing for a global audience, um, learning crazy awesome research skills. Um, at the same time, they are benefiting the world. Wikipedia is uh, very important for us uh, because we, in this way we can preserve our language for example, uh, Armenia isn't widespread. Armenian language isn't widespread in uh, different, uh, for example, countries like English, Spanish. So in this way, we preserve our language, we preserve our culture. بداية تصفح الويكيبيديا كأي متصفح هذه كانت في 2007. بعدها خطوة إن أنا أكون محررة جت في 2012 في برنامج ويكيبيديا للتعليم. طورت العملية إن أنا أوصل 31 مقالة. كانت تجربة مثيرة جدا جدا إن هو يطلب واحد واحدة بس أعمل واحد وثلاثين مقالة. The collaboration between Wikipedia and uh, universities has been established on most of the major uh, schools in the Czech Republic, uh, in many uh, um, types of classes, um, and we're adding uh, well hundreds of thousands of bytes each year, which means like hundreds of pages each year um, to Wikipedia and in subjects that would never be probably written by our volunteers, volunteers because they are very specific um, expert knowledge. Teachers were eager to learn about Wikipedia and some of them were reluctant but when they learned that they could edit and make a change uh, I think that made a difference. They started uh, editing, creating new articles, and they, now they have a sense of belonging. They see that they can contribute to knowledge building. In Ukraine, we have a common task for students. It's just um, papers, ordinary papers. They are not 
uh, research papers, but a compilation of uh, information from different sources. Basically, it's uh, just what Wikipedia is all about. Uh, so, uh, I've got to know that uh, Wikipedia education program in Ukraine at that moment was all about replacing that uh, dull uh, papers made only f uh, by students for their teachers with uh, writing an article which is by student to the whole world. I have a teaching background and Wikipedia in education has always been that one project that really combines education and teaching and also the digital tools and ICT that we're talking about in education a lot. And I think of education as a really big driver for change. And if you combine that with the power of Wikipedia where you can really allow students to have real-world impact, uh, 